morning! Michelle here from Global Gathering Place in Saskatoon. I'm here with a special Chef at Home video to teach you how to make an inexpensive and delicious breakfast food called granola. It's similar to cereal, but it's usually enjoyed with yogurt and fruit. I learned this recipe from friends of mine in university and I've been making it ever since. Here is what you'll need. About three quarters of a cup of canola or vegetable oil. About three quarters of a cup of honey. Seven cups of rolled oats or old fashioned oats, not quick oats. You'll also need about one cup of almonds, half a cup of pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds. And after it's baked, you can add any dried fruit you like, such as raisins or dried cranberries. Before you get started, be sure to wash your hands. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Measure out three quarters of a cup of oil. Measure out about three quarter cups of honey, either liquid or creamed. Add your oil and your honey into a small pot. Turn your stove to medium high heat. Boil until bubbling for at least two minutes. Now measure out your dry ingredients, your oatmeal, almonds, and seeds. Add the honey and oil mixture to your oats and nuts. Mix thoroughly. Divide this mixture evenly on two baking sheets and spread it out in an even layer. the sheets in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, at which point you will check them. After about 50 or 20 minutes, check it to make sure it's not burning. Once it's getting golden brown on the edges, it's time to flip it. So flip it evenly. This one is getting really brown, so it probably doesn't need much more time. Maybe another five to 10 minutes, depending on how crispy you like it. Well, I think it's done. It's all golden. Now let it cool for a little bit. Finally, mix in your dried fruit such as dried cranberries, about one cup, and raisins. Store your granola in a airtight container or a metal tin. It will last about three months. Enjoy with yo.
yogurt and fresh fruit for a delicious and healthy breakfast.